Um, to have our fourth annual walk or bike back to school event. Our Cardinals are ready to go, as you can see. Here we have uh, with us this morning, we have the uh, uh, representatives from the State Health Department. We have Rosy de los Santos and we have Glenda Rodriguez and they like to say a few words. We do this um, to encourage the kids to follow this throughout the year and, and it's just part of a healthy lifestyle. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Salcedo. We're very excited and we're very happy to be here. Uh, it seems like every year this event gets bigger and it gets better. I'm very um, proud that San Luis hosts this, year, uh, hosts this event every year. It encourages the children to be physically active so that they can lead healthy lifestyles. And on behalf of the Poke Tri-National Health Council, this is part of um, many events that we have throughout the month of October, which is Border Tri-National Health Month. So we welcome everyone to participate. Thank you, Ms. Salcedo and San Luis for hosting this event, Walk and Bike to School, and this is going to be a great success. Hey Eagle Pass, uh, this is Nacho Salsa, Eagle Pass Independent School District Board Trustee, Place 2. Uh, we're here at San Luis Elementary today for their annual walk and bike to school festival. This is their fourth year and as you can see every year it's gotten bigger and better and it's something for them to be uh, commended for. I congratulate everybody at San Luis Elementary for putting this together. It's an initiative to get these kids out walking and get them motivated and get them active early. And it's something that we'd love to see district-wide and implemented district-wide. So again, congratulations, San Luis. Congratulations to these kids. And we hope that we can see this everywhere in the near future. Thank you.